Really glad to see everyone. A little Eckhart Tolle to start our week. Carrying the past. The inability or rather unwillingness of the human mind to let go of the past is beautifully illustrated in the story of two Zen monks, Tanzan and Aikido, who were walking along a country road that had become extremely muddy after heavy rains. Near a village, they came upon a young woman who was trying to cross the road, but the mud was so deep it would have ruined the silk kimono she was wearing. Tanzan at once picked her up and carried her to the other side. The monks walked on in silence. Five hours later, as they were approaching the lodging temple, Ikido couldn't restrain himself any longer. Why did you carry that girl across the road, he asked. We monks are not supposed to do things like that. I put the girl down hours ago, said Tanzan. Are you still carrying her? Now imagine what, would, what life would be like for someone who lived like Aikido all of the time. Unable or unwilling to let go inten internally of situations, accumulating more and more stuff inside. And you get a sense of what life is like for the majority of people on our planet. What a heavy burden of the past they carry around with them in their minds. The past lives in you as memories, but memories in themselves are not the problem. In fact, it is through memory that we learn from, path, from the past and from past mistakes. It is only when memories, that is to say thoughts about the past, take you over completely, that they turn into a burden, turn problematic, and become part of your sense of self. Your personality, which is conditioned by the past, then becomes your prison. Your memories are invested with a sense of self and your story becomes who you perceive yourself to be. This little me is an illusion that obscures your true identity as timeless and formless presence. So the question is, do we live in the past or do we live in the present? So ask yourself this, here's the litmus test. How often do you dwell on memories? How much of your day is spent ruminating, thinking about things that happened in the past, whether they were good or bad? Now, usually we think about bad things more than, than good things in the past. Not always, not always, but of course, a lot of us ruminate and we get into this spiral thing. You know that what the, to what the water in the, in the toilet does when you flush it? <laughs> That's what our mind and emotions do and it compounds. But the question is, how often do we dwell? Do we wish things would have been different? Are we sad? or disappointed about the past. The truth of the matter is that diminishes our power tremendously because the power that we use to live is found in the now. When we open our eyes and ears and hearts and we see what's currently in front of us right now, the energy that's here now, this is where we interact with life, not in the past. Yes, as Eckhart Tolle said, we can learn. However, that's all it should be. We can take the memory and learn from it. We can even learn from other people's pasts, other people's actions, obviously. But we don't ruminate. We don't create it into our self-identity. Oh, I'm someone who's been wronged. I'm a victim of this and that. No, you're not. You are not a victim of this or that. You are not a person who's been wronged. There was an event in your life. There was a situation. We see the situation. We understand the situation and we take appropriate action according to the situation in the present moment. The present moment is where our life unfolds. So again, the question is how often do we spend on memories? How often do we spend thinking about memories? So let's take that concept and meditate on that. Please sit tall. Let's prepare for our meditation. All right, shoulders relax. Spine tall, crown of the head, position it straight over the base of the spine. So don't lean forward. And don't lean back and kind of just find your spine straight up and down. Let your eyes softly close. The easiest way to get into the present moment is to focus on the breath. Imagine that. Let's be here and let's be now.
be curious about how the air feels as it passes through the nostrils. When you heighten your physical senses, your consciousness is sucked into the now. It's magnetized to the present moment. So become aware of your senses. Let's just become sensitive. Right? When we optimize our five, our five physical senses, our consciousness becomes refined. Our awareness is honed. We can perceive things at a higher level, a more intense level more detailed and a more holistic level. Okay, please deepen the breath. Feel the lungs and ribs expanding and contracting. hands resting on the knees or in the lap or wherever they may fall. Let the arms be soft and heavy, the shoulders are heavy. The face is soft. Now let's just have a moment of honesty, please. What are some things that you habitually think about on a daily basis or on a regular basis that happened in your past. We all have at least two or three or more events or situations that occurred to us in our past, whether it was last week or last decade, that we think about a lot. Just be, let's just be honest about that and bring those thought constructs to the front of our mind. Now, just imagine, just ask yourself, what, what would it be like if you let those go? Just what would, what would it be like? Very simple question. What would it be like if you put the girl down and don't carry the girl like the monks? What would change in your energy field? How would that translate into your ability to operate in the world? Please now return to your deep breathing and make it even slower and even deeper. And as you breathe in, sense that you're breathing in life force, a stream of power, a stream of electric intelligence. It really is cosmic consciousness that we breathe in when we attune our awareness to prana. We breathe in the intelligence of the universe. Breathe it in. Seat it at the midbrain. When you inhale, sense light or energy or power entering through the nostrils, 
targeting the point in the middle of the head, creating a light or a presence or a fire. And just be there, be here. Don't be anywhere else. Don't be any when else. So the breath is deep, building a focus in the midbrain. Now build that same focus at the heart. So the same thing as you inhale, sense the influx of light, of power, of energy. traverses the nasal passageway through the brain, down the spine to the heart with your inhales. With your exhales, feel the light expanding and flooding the heart space. Exhale completely, empty the, empty the lungs, and let's inhale. Big breath, fill up and hold the breath. Full lungs, bow the chin, lift the pelvic floor, even pull the abdomen in, all three bandhas. Sense the energy building in the midsection, holding the breath just as long as you can comfortably, heightening the energetic effects at the heart. Only when you need to, slowly exhale. And do that one more time. Breathe in big. Hold. Squeeze the bandhas. Increase the energetic swirling in the chest and the heart. Hold as long as you can comfortably. Exhale, just be still. We access presence through internal awareness. The more you orient your awareness to what's inside, the more power we have to act outside. Spend less time in the past. This also applies to the future. Spend less time wondering, wishing, being anxious about the future. Spend more time in the here and now. It's a practice. Just be the witness and use some guidance, use some course correction to root your awareness in the now. Bring your palms to your heart, please. How sensitive is the skin of your hands and fingers? One more big inhale together. Breathe in. And slowly open the eyes when you're ready. Thanks for going with me on that little journey, that little self exercise. Just a little bit of different awareness how often do we dwell on memories and how often are we completely present? Have a beautiful Monday. I can't wait for tomorrow. 
Have a beautiful day. Namaste.